Hey guys, Project Sob here, and today we will be fixing our um, our rear defogger tab. Ours broke off from right here. This is something that can happen commonly. Heat, you know, maybe you might hit something one time when you're uh, when you're in the trunk. Anything like that can cause this to happen. So we're gonna repair this, and we're gonna repair it using our Permatex rear window defogger repair kit. Um, one of the first things you got to do is make sure that it's not on. Obviously, make sure your car isn't on. That'd be a bad idea. Um, number two, um, we got to make sure that the tab is flat. So if you can see here, I don't know if that will focus well. That is a, it's a little bit actually not flat. I'm gonna have to try to see if I can sand that down a little bit. But uh, next up, um. We got to clean the surface with our alcohol towel. It came with a little package in here. Bubby. Shh. We got our alcohol towel. We're just going to wipe it down. Clean off any debris. Good. I'm going to get our towel. And clean this too. Get rid of any, any of that bad stuff. Good. It actually looks pretty clean. Now, now that we cleaned it with the alcohol tab, we're going to get the sandpaper that came with the kit. And we're just going to... Sand it down. And that is nice and smooth. The next thing we have here is our cleaner activator towelette. Okay, so how we're going to do this is it says peel here. I'm going to grab it like this. And we actually do not touch this. That little green paper right there, we do not touch that. I don't know what it is, but if it said don't touch it, don't touch it. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're not going to touch it. And we're going to wipe it. What we're going to do is we're going to wipe it right on where our activator is. Like some kind of, it says don't wipe it on the tab, only wipe it right here. Just like that. Now, do not use activator tab. Allow tab to dry for at least two minutes, but has to be attached within 15 minutes. So, I think you know to be safe i'm gonna wait about five minutes i think that's a good middle ground to let it dry um what we're actually going to do here is now let's remove this tab i'm just gonna should pull out there we go let's remove that tab because what we're going to do is when it's time to press it on we're going to only leave it on by itself we don't want the weight of this pulling on it we're gonna have to let this dry i think for like an entire day so let's give it about five minutes then we'll come back to it while that is drying we are going to be kneading this pouch looks something like this okay and we'll just this stuff looks really toxic. It has like harmful chemical signs on it. So I think I'm going to put a glove on just to make sure I don't let this stuff touch my skin. But we got to knead this up really good with our thumb. And the instructions say uh, cut the top of the pouch, apply only one drop of adhesive, immediately apply to. Apply tab to rear window defogger. Home firmly for one minute. Pouch is needed fully. 
It's a fingernail. Moving a hassle back and forth. I really need the pouch up in there for one or two minutes, this place. Okay, so we gotta move kind of quick here. And one thing I gotta hurry up and go get is a pair of scissors. So I can cut this open and we can apply our drop. So that looks good. Looks nice dookie. Nice dookie looking color. Like diarrhea kind of looking color. And then we'll get the tab and we'll cut it. Alright. Let's get our tab here. Gonna cut it. Make sure it's all down there. Get your tab here. Make sure we don't get this in anything. We just need to get a drop. There we go. And now we're gonna hold it on here for a full minute. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. And just like that, you guys, it is attached. I held it on there for a little over a minute, said approximately a minute. Notice, do not reattach it to, do not reattach it to where the, oh. Don't reattach it to where the old one was. Uh, put it in a new spot on the grid. Um, I held it, 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 whatever that chemical was, it works. So that's good. We're gonna let it sit here for an entire day. So it's really best to not even drive the car. I wouldn't drive it because you don't want the thing bouncing around and wanna pop off. So give it a whole 24 hours to let this thing cure. And then once it's cured, we'll reattach this. All right, it's been 24 hours. Let us plug this in. And boom, there we go. Didn't fall off. Um, you can check for continuity if you want, or you can just simply turn them on, see if it works. But uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Till next time.